Hi, I'm Dan Donati. I'm responsible for Amitech Programmable Power Solutions, and we're here to talk about battery simulators. Um, there are three main aspects of battery simulators that are important. One is the safety aspect of it, secondly is the ease of use, and third is its ability to program any kind of chemistry of battery. From a safety perspective, if real batteries are used, they have to be handled uh, very carefully in most cases, especially if you're using lithium ion batteries. Uh, so there's, they need to be set at a certain state of charge for your testing, whether that's a high or low state of charge. And in order to get the battery there, you have to either employ a, a load to discharge the battery from its present state or a power supply to charge the battery. All that involves a lot of equipment. It has to be controlled very well uh, because a lot of the modern batteries require some very stringent controls on charge and discharge rates. Um, shorting the output of a battery can be very dangerous, not only to personnel, but to the device that you're testing, as well as the fixturing and the tooling and, uh, and a lot of the devices that are nearby. Um, with a battery string simulator, you can program it to shut down immediately if there's something wrong. You can program it to, to only go to a certain state of charge. You can program it to look for a certain terminal voltage, and if it sees something above that, it will shut down. So there are a lot of safety features built into a BSS, which is really the primary use of a BSS. Secondly is the ease of use. We've incorporated some Windows GUIs in our BSS that allow you to easily download the behavior of the battery as well as a simple GUI control to set state of charge and uh, capacity of the battery as well as temperature and other uh, items. The third part of it is the programming ability to simulate any kind of battery chemistry. By downloading this Excel spreadsheet it contains the behavior of the battery and so with that incorporated with a uh, capacity value that you enter it will charge and discharge just like a battery even if the battery doesn't exist today you can create a behavior that you believe this battery will behave like and then and then run your tests on it uh, to to simulate that uh, that device so all in all uh, the battery string simulator has those three main uh, functions and um, if you'd like to learn more about a battery simulator you can go to uh, www.programmablepower.com and look under the solutions um, tab. Thank you very much.